Welcome back here live in Tampa as the events here at the Republican National Convention are about to get underway. And folks watching tonight's coverage will be treated to a remarkable story. When a small town Utah mayor and now congressional candidate takes the big stage, Saratoga Springs, Utah, Mayor Mia Love is running for Congress and will be the first black Republican congresswoman if she wins. The RNC is pointing to the story of how Mia's parents came to this country from Haiti with just $10 in their pockets. One of three children, Mia says she was raised to work hard and is making it her mission to give back to society. She joins us now live, Mia Love, mayor of Saratoga Springs, Utah, and Republican candidate for Congress. Ms. Mayor, welcome to the program. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am so excited to be here. So I love your story. Uh, your parents came here from Haiti, $10 in their pockets. And talk to us about the advice they gave you when push came to shove about self-reliance and relying on government. Well, I remember taking my dad to college with me on the first day of orientation, and he looked at me very seriously, seriously and he said, Mia, your mother and I have done everything we could to get you here. We've worked hard. We've never taken a handout. You're not going to be a burden to society. You will give back. And thank goodness it didn't go in one ear out the other. It actually stayed with me. How, does that, how do you use that in your life? Well, if you think about it, as mayor of Saratoga Springs, I have to ask myself several questions before I make any new commitments. Is it affordable? Is it sustainable? Is it my job? And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to give back to make sure that I, we have a fiscally sound city. I, it's not rocket science. The most I've done is really step out of the way and allow the economy to thrive, allow businesses to come in and add resources. And so it's been... You know, it's been fun. You know, Barack Obama has a different message, and he talks about how, you know, we need to be our brother's keeper and that there's an obligation not to just let people go it alone, as he puts it. It's unfortunate because Obama, Obama's vision of America is a divided one. Um, you know, if you listen to even the vice president's comments when he comes out and he says they want to put you y'all back in chains, I, I think that those things, it's inappropriate. I think that if, if you've got a leader, we need a leader that's going to unite Americans because, I, I, I mean, it's just, that's not, how we're, that, that's not how we're supposed to do things. I mean, a country that's united is a lot stronger than a divided country. We want to make sure that we're keeping people together. We're, we're looking at Americans all equally. And uh, people just want opportunity. They don't want a handout. They want the opportunity to work. Now, you're from Utah. Uh, the, here's the, Republic, the, the uh, headline out of this Reuters piece is, Black, Mormon, and Female, Utah Republican Embodies New Hope. So black, Mormon, and female, that's you. We just did a segment with Laura Ingram talking about how Governor Romney plans to discuss in part his Mormonism, or at least his experience as a Mormon missionary or, Baptist, or, or minister uh, when he takes the stage on Thursday night. Mm -hmm. People are, a lot of folks in this country are getting their first sort of look at Mormonism, and they look at the Romney boys, and they're, they're upstanding young men, and they don't drink, and they don't smoke, and they're all married to the same wives they married first time around. Is there anything you feel like people need to know about Mormonism? I just think about that, and I think about Mitt Romney, how he's a great dad, and how he's just a great, he's in love with his wife. What's there not to lie? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's devoted, and um, you know, I think that the Mormon faith is really you're going to find a lot of similarities with any Christian faith. We're God fearing. We believe in Jesus Christ, and so those are the things that you know. No alcohol ever. No. Ever. Ever. Not like a glass of wine with Thanksgiving dinner. Well, you know, I wasn't always Mormon. You know? <laughs> is but that now, right? But oh, that's... now, since then, yes, I, I uh, became a member of the church um, early on, right after college. But I wasn't always a Mormon. So. Well, I was thinking about it until I heard that liquor thing, and I said, well, you know, I really love my Chardonnay. <laughs> 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 Just kidding, Father Jonathan. I'm Catholic. <laughs> right, let me talk to you about tonight. Do you feel nervous? I mean, you know, obviously you're a public figure, and you're running for Congress, so you, you give speeches. But this is a big deal, and there will be millions of eyeballs watching you, not just now, but tonight. You know what's a big deal? I want to make sure that we all remember the America that we love and know. It just our story has been told for just over 200 years, and I want to get back to that. I Is want to it get slipping back to away? That so many Americans I feel do. that. I do. For the first time in history, we feel that as our, like our children aren't going to receive the same opportunities we've had. They've got this debt looming over their heads. We've got people who are out of work, some people who've just stopped looking for work. I mean, it's really, we've got to get the economy back in order. We've got to get back to the America. America that we know and love. Are you, is your uh, family going to be watching tonight? They will. They will. What a proud moment for all of you. Yeah, well, 
I'm here to represent Utah and their support from Mitt Romney, and we're really excited about well, it. Good luck. I guess right now you are you're behind in the polls, but if you took this seat, it would be a very big deal uh, to win this from this from your Democratic. Well, party. we're moving up, and we're going to win. Mia Love, thank you so much. It's thank a pleasure you. meeting.